This lesson deals with supplemental problem 4.6. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 4 supplemental problems on page 6. Let's find the Thevenin resistance seen by the load resistor Arcibel in the common emitter amplifier example we did on page 4 of the chapter 4 notes. To find the Thevenin resistance, we set all the independent sources equal to zero. In this case, there was a voltage source V sub S on the left hand side of that equivalent circuit, replace that by a short circuit. Because we have a controlled source now, we can't just do series and parallel combinations. The controlled source is not a resistor. It's a relationship between voltages and currents, or in this case, current and current. So we'll apply a test voltage, measure a test current. The ratio of these two would be the resistance seen looking back. Okay, the current looking in here is going to be this current plus the current of the controlled source. So let's find the value of the current I sub B so we can do that evaluation. What I've got with this short circuit is I got the 500 in parallel with the 10K, 5K, and 631 ohm resistors we had. Let's just say the voltage across here is VN. And so the current leaving the node would be this current, which would be VN divided by 500, plus this current, which is VN divided by 10K, plus this current, which is VN divided by 5K, plus VN divided by 631 ohms. But nothing is entering the node, so it has to equal zero. So if you pull out the Vn, what we're left with then is something times Vn is to equal zero. The only possible answer is that Vn is zero. And that means that the current I sub B, which is going to be Vn divided by R pi, or 631, is also going to be zero. So the current coming in here is going to be this current, which is V test divided by 1K, plus zero times 100. So we just have V test divided by 1K. Three range terms here now, so V test divided by I test would equal 1K, and that's our Thevenin resistance. This is important to find in amplifiers because it forms a voltage divider if you found a Thevenin voltage, or it forms a current divider if you found a Norton current. We'll talk more about this in ECE 302. And this is supplemental problem 4.6.